Hi, my name's Lindy Cowling and today I would like to talk about the difference between sex and sacred intimacy. And if you would like to check out my background on who I am and where I'm coming from, I'm www.lindycowling.co.uk. When I'm talking on camera, um, all I can do is use my experience with clients, um, just under 15 years background of that, but also my personal experience with the Twin Flame Union. And I will bring that heavily into the work that I do because I have a three year physical connection with that. Everything is energy. Everything around us is energy. We are made of energy. And the way that you approach anything in this world is all about the frequency and the vibration of the energy. And when I say the word sex and when I say the word intimacy, they are two different vibrations straight away. Sex straight away is, is a lower, I'm not judging that, I'm talking about the energy of the word and the energy with it, is a lower vibration, what we call the base chakra from the waist down. And intimacy, straight away by the energy of that word, not just the word, but implies a higher, more in-depth connection, which it is. When genuine, genuine twin flames connect, there is great recognition of the soul on the level of the spirit, the soul, and the spirit and soul within the physical body. But that recognition is not driven by sexual attraction. That is not to say there is not that attraction there, but it is not driven by that. The soul and spirit at this point don't care what color the skin of that twin is, the age of that twin is, the background of that twin is. They just feel immense connection like a magnet because the soul is actually a magnet and the heart is a magnet. They feel immense love and connection with the soul of that being the other part of their soul the masculine and feminine charge so they don't particularly care at that point what vessel that or what shape that vessel is in it's only later on in the connection that they even really begin to even take notice of the vessel that it's in and that they feel this chemistry. And I'm not saying that there isn't chemistry and sexual attraction, there is, but it is not driven by that. It's not ever driven by that. It's driven by love and a higher level of intimate connection. So again, so we go back to this, this the variation between the two. Again, when man meets woman, boy meets girl in a conventional relationship that's not driven by the heart, it would be attraction, chemical reactions in the brain, chemical reactions below the waist, love, yes, still love, and a connection in that way. When twin meets twin or high level soul connection meets high level soul connection, it is driven by immense love, immense magnetism, immense joy, immense peace, immense bliss, spirit, soul, and lastly, chemical and hormonal reaction. That isn't less than the others, but the others come first. It's this way round, not this way round. So it's all the other way round. The intimate, and I'm not gonna use the word sex with twin flames because genuine twin flames don't have sex. That's a really massive statement to make and I'm gonna laugh because I don't mean that they don't get it on. What I mean is that they never have sex. They don't have that lower vibration connection. They make love, which is the energy of creation, or they interact with intimacy. It's a higher level of frequency. They don't just have sex. Twin flames don't just have affairs. Twin flames don't just have liaisons. We're not here for that. We are here as a, an embodiment of a frequency to carry out a mission for humanity by embodying love. For twin flames to merge 
in this physical world, eight to nine out of 10 of them do engage physically in intimacy because as people such as Gold Ray Twin Flames, Mel and Nicole talk about, there is a five body meld and merge. All the energy fields have to merge of the one soul being, the male and the female of the one soul, they rush together and merge. And for that to take place is not a spiritual hypothesis, not a soul hypothesis. It is the embodiment, the physical embodiment of it. And everything in your physical body is zinging about with love. Your cells are expanded with love and joy. Your hormones are going crazy. You feel all this peace, this bliss, and it is natural within the vessel that you're in when you feel more love than you've ever felt in every level, angelic, physically, mentally, emotionally, and this magnetism for that to rush together. So am I saying that all twin flames cross the boundaries um, and interact in intimacy? No. Am I saying a lot of them do, most of them do? Yes. Am I, am, I, am I going to explain why? Well, I kind of, I just have, because the magnetism is so strong, the pull and the drive is so strong, but also in a way, it is it's almost like a destined thing really, because for the, the the bodies, the energy bodies to merge and meld, there is that physical, there has to be that physical connection. But everyone has to make their own decision on this. And they are, there's a, there's a whole minefield here because those twins that have met may be in other committed relationships with other people. They may have a lot of judgments, belief systems. They're going to run up against all that. They're going to run up against any sexual abuse that's taken place in their lives in within them any incest any sexual problems in them or in their family or in the or in the bloodline is all going to come up for healing and cleansing that's all going to come up in these interactions it's all going to be dredged up um it's also going to dredge up all things like you know guilts and belief systems and recognizing the difference maybe for the first time ever in their lives the difference between intimacy and making love and sex and for many of those twins they will realize that all their lives they were just having sex it doesn't mean to say they didn't love the person they were having sex with but this is a whole different level of connection intimacy and sacred intimacy is completely different to a normal relationship with somebody. So it will, it will bring a lot of stuff up, not just from the timelines they're living in now, but from past lives, past timelines, or the timelines that are coexisting, multi-dimensionality, it will bring all that up. But another important reason why they cross those boundaries a lot of times is there is a third energy created, and it's called the third energy. And that energy is the energy of creation and twins have access to the energy of creation and the most powerful way they create is when they are around each other in that way the energy of creation really the really the anti really ups they can create think of the words i'm using here making love think of those words and, and then listen to what i'm saying making love making you're creating it's an energy that's where that term comes from. In the old ancient texts, in, the priests and priestesses knew this stuff. And it was very much restricted to the privileged few. But this stuff has been hidden. Um, intimacy is one of the most powerful energies that human beings actually have access to. But they don't realize that. They are controlled by society to think of it as sex. And this is a whole different thing. Intimacy is a creative um, force, a creative energy, which twins have access to, which higher soul connections have access to, and which we are holding the vibration for the rest of humanity to get access to. Part of a twin flame template is to send out a signal so everyone has this remembrance, so everyone can access creation, so everyone can access intimacy, so everyone can have this great remembering. So we're covering a lot of bases here. We're saying that there is the energy of creation in this intimacy between these high level soul connections. There is 
the merging of the bodies, the merging of the twins that rush together that takes place during this. It's also for the purpose of clearing the bloodlines of the twins, any of their sexual hang-ups, any sexual hang-ups in the family, going right the way back, the genetics, it's also for that purpose. It is not just a mere case of boy sees girl, boy fancies girl, boy wants to get it on, that's not this. That's completely not this at all, this is completely the opposite. This has a purity, a purity to it that is that I'm trying to show on camera. It has a purity to it. There's a almost like a childlike purity to this. That is this this energy of kind of like peace and like I say and bliss and creation. And this is this is again a vital part of the twin flame union. There are some twins on this family uh, on this planet. Sorry, that will never connect in that way maybe their soul always set it up that way but there are many that will for all the reasons i've listed for the merge for clearing the bloodlines and for the energy the third energy of creation but also when they connect that way they fire up kundalini they fire up kundalini within them so then the kundalini energy gets going on top of everything else that fires up so when they connect in this way to be quite blunt, the physical vessels are the equipment that you use to connect in this way because that is what we were given. But after the initial connection in intimacy, the energy field takes over. So the equipment that you used to launch that is almost like redundant. Now. I'm smiling here because I know that I'm trying to get this across on camera without going into huge detail here which may be uncomfortable for people watching and actually is not uncomfortable for me because now I'm talking from my heart on it so I don't feel uncomfortable with this but I'm trying to um, be mindful of the people that may be watching this. What I can say to you is uh, it's all about love, there is not, it's not a, a sexual element to it. But of course, to launch that intimacy, there has to be that crossover. Um, twins aren't here to, to radiate out just angelically. We are here to embody love, to create love, to live love. And that is all part of that. And if you do connect with a high level soul connection in this way, you may very well find that you your body and your energy field will not react in the way it ever has before. So if you were used to what you thought, you could have gone 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life thinking that when you um, had a build up of that energy, intimate energy, that you would, you would um, climax from the waist down. It's not like that with twins. It doesn't happen there. It happens higher. It will stop wherever you've got a block. So if you have a block in the stomach, it won't you would climax in your stomach. If you have a block in your heart, um, it will stop at your heart, you'll have one there. But if it's clear, the channel's clear, it will go all the way up and, and the head has it, not the waist, not below the waist. So you will have an explosion of light, it may knock you out, nearly knock you out, knock you flying, see colour, see lights, and you will be in a state of what we would call profound enlightenment for two or three days, not two or three minutes. Um, it's a whole different connection. There is far more on this that I can't go into because I don't have the knowledge on it. Gold Ray Twin Flames have the knowledge on it and they will go into great detail on this because they have been in this connection for 22 years and I've been in it for three or was in it for three. So I can only um, speak from my experience and the experience of ones that I'm working with and that's all I can do. But uh, it is a very magical part of the union and you know, an integral part also because it concerns that third energy of creation, which is why I've brought it up today. There's not much on the internet on this that people have lived it and uh, there needs to be really. Anyway, I will love you and leave you. And if you have any questions that you want to email me with, I will do my best um, to try and answer you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.